More than two years after Hurricane Matthew damaged a large section of A1A in Flagler County, work is now underway on a permanent fix. And that means slower speeds, more traffic, and a big detour. News 6's Lauren Korn takes a look at the big project. Crews spent the day installing detour signs along South Central Avenue as it now becomes the new A1A. Well, as you can imagine, some folks not too happy about that and the traffic that comes along with it. It's just a little inconvenient to go out of the way. Cindy Fowler works along the scenic A1A and will have to readjust her route as the second phase of construction starts today. And we just have to go around you know, and go around the building and try to stay out of their way so they get their work done. The work is part of a three segment project to improve A1A after Hurricane Matthew destroyed parts of the road in 2016. FDOT says the 1.5 mile stretch of road will be divided by a landscaped median, along with a reconstructed sidewalk and French drains installed to control water runoff and help reduce erosion. FDOT says the lane closures affect only southbound traffic along A1A and will be detoured onto South Central Avenue from South 7th Street to South 23rd. we got bike week coming up now and there's going to be a lot of traffic here. Glenn Larson lives on South Central Avenue. He has a couple of concerns with this street becoming A1A, claiming the newly installed detour signs are a safety hazard. You might think there's airplanes coming through here, the signs are a... Uh... 10, 12 feet up in the air. A few school kids here and uh, school bus stops. They should be watching the road, not looking up in the sky for signs. And once the heavy traffic does start, Larson says it'll be the large trucks that will do some wear and tear on the road. And when they turn these corners, they're ripping up the road. The price tag for the total project is about $22 million and should be completed by early 2020. In Flagler County, Lauren Korn getting results, News 6. Now, we called FDOT to ask about the height of the detour signs, and we're told it has to be between 7 to 5, 7 to 10 feet high. But because of people's concerns, FDOT says it'll be lowering those signs. 